a future soldier or offenses program is divided into two components the first one being arming the modern infantry soldier. Under this, our special forces will be loaded with the world's best underbarrel grenade launcher assault rifles, carbines, and hand grenades. They will be protected with equipment such as non-flammable, waterproofed, hard ballistic protected and bulletproof helmets, visors, and vests. The new attire will enable commandos to carry extra loads and resist the impact of nuclear, radiological, chemical, and biological warfare. In the second phase our commandos will be equipped with Palmtop GPS navigation devices, world's most advanced satellite phones, integrated multi-function sight device night vision equipment, thermal imager, laser range finder, color charge coupled device camera, digital magnetic compass, integrate de-electro-optical surveillance and fire control systems. But even after 10 years of conception, the FNSIS program is far from being a reality. Both Army as well as the DRDO is responsible for it. Recently a multi-caliber assault rifle tender initiated by the Army was cancelled as the companies were unable to meet the requirements. This combined with the usual sluggishness of the DRDO in developing subsystems meant that FNSIS is still caught in red tapes. Development of bulletproof helmet is nearing completion by the Tata Industries. The renewed timeline is 2020, but it is almost impossible to deliver in that time frame. Anyway let's hope that FNSIS becomes a reality making our soldiers, the most technologically advanced in the world.